Okay, so um, why don't we begin just by going straight into the data editor. Um, the first thing we want to do is make our little building that the Zerglings are going to try and, or not Zergling, Zerg, are going to try and get to. Um, so in my example map, I use the armory, so I'm just going to do that again. I'm just going to duplicate it. Um, we just need to duplicate the actors, and I think that's it, yeah. So I'm going to duplicate those. So we have an armory copy. Let's. The first thing we're going to do is go rename it. Uh, where's the name? I can never find it. Stats, name, armory. Um, so why don't we call it just base, or uh, human base, just in case there's a small name, too small of a name or something. Um, okay, so let's go back up here. So abilities... Uh, we don't want build. We don't want any abilities really, because it's just going to be like a static building. Um, behaviors. We don't want it to burn out because that that'd be really annoying. Um, and command cards. So, actually, none of the command card matters because uh, this is going to be a computer controlled building. So, not really a big deal. Um, okay, let me just make sure this is all okay. That seems good. Um, Life is good too. 750 is good. I think it's a decent amount, but you can always balance it once you test your map out and stuff. Um, and the actors now, let's make the actors have the right value. So this should be uh, human base. Okay. And this should be human base. Where is that? There it is. And I don't think I needed to copy this one, but I did anyway. Um, and we need to set the model inside here because I'm guessing it got set to something wrong. And yes, it did. I'm actually just going to go to the armory and go to its actor and find and just uh, right click copy. Come back to human base and go to its actor and just paste it in here. And where's the other one? Pl build. And just paste it in there. Army splat, I th armory splat. I mean, um, I think this one's okay. Where's their model? Armory splat. Yeah, it's okay. It didn't get changed. Um, so let's save and go in here. Press U to go to the unit tab. And player six zero. Oh, it's already on it. Nice. And uh, where is our human base? There it is. Human base. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, oops, I don't want player six zero. I want player five base. Oops. And I'm just going to play, place it there. And I'm going to just do a little detail here. And I'm going to the doodads palette by pressing D. And I'm going to search for light. Um, what's floodlight? Well, oh, that's kind of cool. Floodlights. Maybe I'll put some, put some of these in here. That's kind of interesting, but I was, my original plan was to put one of these here, just like a blue light to kind of highlight it for the player and save. And um, let's see, let's go back to the data editor now. Um, okay, so we've got our little armory for uh, player five there, and that's kind of the game, game condition to have that there. And now I'm going to go edit the marine and the marauder and uh, ghost and reaper to have proper proper costs and stats. So we want to get rid of uh, rid of the stim pack. We don't want that. Well, at least I don't want that in my map here. Um, gonna get rid of this marine shield thing. Um, command card. What do we want? We want to get rid of stim pack. Everything else is okay. Um, let's see. Where is the so I didn't duplicate the unit, but I I just modified it straight from the uh, uh, straight from the base data, whatever, and it just made my own version, as you can see here, um, because I don't really need to make a duplicate unit since I'm just using the marine and changing a few things. You could, but it's just a waste of time, I think. And supplies make it zero because our map is not going to use supplies at all. And life, uh, I think that's okay. Okay, and our mar the marauder now. Let's. Make some changes to that. Let's get rid of stim pack. Let's get rid of these both things. We're not going to use concussive, but you could obviously add it as an upgrade um, after you see how I do mine for the damage upgrade. Um, what else did I set? Oh, yeah, that's right. And supplies. 
make that zero. Okay, and let's do the Reaper here. Okay, uh, Reaper's good. I'm going to leave his Reaper jump in. Uh, maybe that'll give him some cool advantage over the other ones. Um, command card's good. Um, we do want to change his supplies to zero, though. And the last thing we want to do is the uh, ghost. Where's the ghost? There's the ghost. Okay. And we're getting rid of a lot of crap here. Because um, we're not going to... I'm not going to have these as researches, but you could if you wanted somehow. And get rid of all this stuff. Uh, yeah, that's gone. Wow, there's a lot of junk here. And I'm going to leave uh, hold fire. Just, I don't know. It's okay, I think. And let's get rid of the supplies. Okay. Okay, so all of our units, um, and for some reasons, sometimes when I'm editing, I can't click on my own data. Usually you can click on your own and it'll show you everything from your map. I don't know why that disappears sometimes. Weird. Um, so anyways, source. Okay, I'll just order it by source and go down to mine. So we have our human base and our modified units. And now what we need to do is make our own little building to, um, um, to train these units. Oh, actually, before we do that, I think, should I modify the damage? I don't know. Mount 10. Uh, maybe I'll just leave the damage. So anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, let's make our own version of the barracks. Uh, where is that? There it is. Let's duplicate it. And let's call... Oh, hold on. Uh, I don't need to copy. I do need to, I do need to duplicate this because we're going to be doing our own version of training. Um, of course, the actors. I don't think we need these, actually. But uh, I'll give it a test right now, anyway. And press OK. Okay, so first thing, let's rename it to uh, HQ. Um, and let's make it invulnerable. So you can't really lose this building. You could, you could change that if you want, but I'm just keeping it simple. And what else do we want? Okay, so build in progress. Yes, yes, uh, yeah. We don't want add-ons, and we don't want liftoff. Okay, um, behaviors, we don't want burnout, and we don't want nuclear reactor Q buff. Uh, the command card is good, except we want to get rid of this, uh, this, oops, and that. And these don't have an ability right now, so we will have to set that later, I believe. Okay, and save. Um, so now here's our barracks train, which we want to change this um, a bit because our units, we don't want them to cost so much or cost any gas or anything. So let's name this um, train, except let's change the prefix to HQ dash space. So there we go. And um, I think this is all okay except for info. So train marine, um, what we have to change it is to cost uh, five minerals as I had in the example and to take five seconds and press OK and the Reaper the Reaper we don't want any requirements so let's press that X um, we want it to cost I believe I made it eight and no Vespine um, okay and I'm gonna make it take eight seconds same as its cost okay and the ghost now. Ghost, get rid of requirement. Um, cost, it's going to be 20 because it's pretty good. No Vespine. And you can, of course, change these once you balance it. I haven't, of course, really had time to time to test this. I'm going to make it f take 15 seconds. Um, one, th one thing you'll find when you make maps is that uh, once you actually get in game with four people, the map completely changes than when you played it by yourself testing. Uh, no requirement for the Marauder. Minerals, he's going to be 12. No Vespine. And he's going to take 10 seconds. Okay. Okay. Save that. 